so <laughs> hi y'all welcome back to my channel it has really been so long since i picked up my camera so much has happened but today we're going to take our first step to getting back on track okay i had to i would say abruptly leave my last apartment i'm in the same complex but i had to abruptly leave my last unit um so now i'm getting readjusted to my new place which means putting back up my bookshelves my lease is up in a few months so i'm not going to unpack everything from my apartment but it's like i have to have my books i'm not living here for the next few months or whatever and my books are still in box because i can't i can't i can't i can't i need to do my book videos i need to read my books i have some books that I have not finished or not finished but i haven't even picked up no i need them bad so today's video we're going to be uh, it's a bookish video a bookish a bookish mini vlog a book, not mini vlog but it's a regular vlog a bookish vlog i'm going to be redoing my two bookshelves i have stuff from amazon prime day that i had bought but never even got to unbox because life started lifing so prime day haul an extra book cart from amazon it's pink of course that i will be putting together in this video as well too so unboxing that unboxing my books putting them on the bookshelf and that's going to be a few a few hours at least probably at least four hours we're about to get started right at one o'clock that's me and my dog but yes it's 12 59 we're about to right jump into it but let me show y'all so right now this is from my prime day stuff this is one of my book sets luckily they're already out i have books these two boxes are books it's book stuff in these i think i had also bought some stuff so there's <laughs> books that are still in their bags my cart my bookshelf this is ah. Uh, this is scary. This is a scary, scary sight to look at. Then we have my other bookshelf over here as well. No clue what's going on with her, but we're going to get her together. So right now I'm using my handheld tripod, but my big tripod that I used to hold up my camera, I think is somewhere in there. I'm hoping, I remember I've, I've seen it. I've seen it somewhere. So I think that's where it's at. So right now we're gonna first jump in with probably cleaning off my bookshelves and then opening up these boxes. This is crazy. This is so crazy. But yeah, now it's time to just start putting them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna first, well, I'm gonna take all of my books and put them in piles on the floor, organize them, and then I think from there, start putting them on my bookshelves. I'm gonna clear them my other bookshelf first before I start placing them anywhere. But I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing this. <laughs> these i totally forgot about whatever that package is i think that's my cart actually but now we have one more full box to go through this box has more actual books in it this one had of course my legos in there too but this one is from my living room so it has 
um, books, Michael Jackson stuff, of course, and some of my vinyls. So we're going to go through these. I have no clue how many books I actually have, but we're going to definitely find out by the end of all of this. <laughs> just unpacked so you can see how high the stacks are for some of them and then we still have the book cart over there oh where did these two come from the gunkle and we have their vicious games i'm missing another one that i just read the secret history it's here somewhere Okay, y'all, these are all of the books that I own, minus one, because I still haven't gotten my book back from my friend Sam, need that, but these are all of my books. I have no clue how many I have, I have not counted them up, but now it's time to get to sorting, and then we're going to start putting them on the bookshelf. my books these are like my series 
all of the series books that I have. So we have some um, Elsie Silver, Colleen Hoover, Abby Jimenez, Alex Michelides for The Silent Patient and The Maidens. Um, Rebecca Yaros, of course, my Sarah J Moss books all right here. Some Kennedy Ryan, Harry Potter, Twilight, all that good stuff. But yeah, so I have my romance hardcover pile. We have a romance um, paperback pile, some YA science fiction. I didn't realize I had so many thriller or mystery books. And the thing about it is I've read probably 90% of these. And I don't consider myself a thriller person, but obviously I am. But yeah, we have some of the other ones. Some Where's my romance though? Short little romance. I'm not really that big on romance. And then we have these other ones. So I'm going to figure out now if I want to color code them or go off of vibes or like go by category. Because last time um, the ones in my living room were color coded. And then in my room, the bookshelf that I no longer have, that one was more of my series bookshelf. So I might do one like straight series and then my other one either color coded yeah, I think I'll do series by category here, by like, you know, fiction or genre. Series by genre. And then on my other one, maybe I'll do it color coded. We'll see how that comes out. Okay, my bad, y'all. I got sidetracked. I did a whole reel in TikTok showing all of my books and having people guess what they think is the correct amount of books that I have. And if you guess correctly, I will send you a free book. Like, who does not love a free book? Um, by the time I upload this, it should still be going on. I'm going to end the giveaway August 31st. So y'all might have a better chance. You've seen all of my bookies that I have here. And if you guess correctly how many books I have, I will give you a hint. It's over 100. If you guess correctly how many books I have, I will send you a free book. Simple as that. I have one going on TikTok and I have one going on Instagram. So you can actually, you can comment either on Instagram or TikTok or you can comment on this video and whoever guesses the exact number correctly first person to guess correctly how many books I have you get a free book simple but yeah anyways time to now this one that one's not even cleared off yet so we're gonna act like she's not even here yet we're gonna do this bookshelf first okay so I lied we're gonna do this bookshelf first I just wiped it off with my series books because this one has more space for me to work with when I'm taking pictures of my books as well too because this wall is actually a, like a slant it's not a straight wall don't ask anyways I'm going to use this bookshelf to put my series books on first I'm going to go ahead and jump into that I started one of these when I first got back into reading and I heard the series was so great I was so excited so I said like, let me just buy the whole series because I've heard they're just so good I didn't finish the book so I have all of these and I have not read them but they're cute but I don't really care for them that much for the twist of the series they're down here now the Elsie Silver books I'm excited to try those out but they're still cutesy but now these this could be us. I have not read this one yet. Let me read y'all up. I have not read This Could Be Us just yet, but I have. Where's the other one? I have read Before I Let Go. And so This Could Be Us is the second book from that series. And I know this is a similar series where it just piggybacks off of characters in the original book. This one comes before this one. However, I read this one first for book club. So I've been, I then bought this one to try it out. Romance, not really my thing, but I liked it. It was cutesy. We are throwing in some color, which I love. It's kind of already has its own red and pink vibe going on. That was not on purpose, but I love it. These books I have read. 
Yinka, where is your husband? Uh, these were hurting. Yinka, where is your husband? Great book. Partner plot. I think I gave you a three. Black Rose Must Die Exhausted. Actually, I hate this book. I think I said it before in my last video. Hate that book. Oh. Um, but these are all my black authors right here. Then we have Mame as well, which is by a um, black author. And I think I gave that book five stars. This is what we have so far. I don't know how I feel about this top shelf, top shelf situation. But this is the rest of it so far. I am liking um, these two are really cute. Like these two shelves right here are really cute. I don't know how I feel about this one. That one's fine, but it's like this top one and this one, I'm not really feeling it, but we're gonna see what I can come up with. Okay, this looks better, but I still have this, but I really, I really don't have another bookshelf like I did before um, to kind of fit them a little bit better. So there's no other place really for those books to go than kind of like that. Unless I put them in there and I don't wanna do that. I want them on my book with my bookshelf. So we have these. I just kind of moved these two up and then my Twilight books and some random other, what was that, James Patterson and Stephen King down there at the bottom. No one looks at the bottom. <laughs> so this is what we have so far. We have some uh, random books, well not random, we have a lot of books left over that I can kind of put over here. And I'm thinking I'll do a color code versus, I'll do like color coded, but with, um, the genres to kind of still keep the same vibe we have a problem because i have this shelf pretty much complete with like different stuff we have my like true crime down here the body keeps score psychology some um classics like brave new world pride and prejudice the princess bride and then we get into um like our mysteries and i have a funko pop more mystery here then we have like sci-fi fantasy sci-fi fantasy like up to right here and then it goes to um big frida silent patient and then like some of my hardcover books but y'all problem is that's literally pretty much all of my books minus that's a small pile right there that's pretty much all of my books i didn't think about it because my books were only on one bookshelf in my living room and then one bookshelf in my room that's only two bookshelves that's what i had but then i had a cart full so i need to figure out how i want to do that i'm gonna have to start moving some stuff around to figure out how i'm gonna do it but let's see what i come up with i think this looks good the top shelf of course questionable but the rest of the bookshelves are full but i'm thinking once i once I start doing my carts and reorganizing how I want to do my book cart, I'm probably going to do this black one, which is like my technology stuff, but make this pink one my actual book cart. And from there, I'll probably pick um, which books I want to pull from here to put onto a cart. But for right now, this is the final product. I'm thinking she looks good. We added a Obi-Wan Kenobi. I, didn't, I wanted to put him right there with the Star Wars books, but... He's up here. So we have Obi-Wan, Harry Potter, Rebecca, like our kind of fantasy. I have no clue what Harry Potter we consider, but he's here. Harry Potter, Star Wars, um, our Game of Thrones vibe. Our colorful books, we have some romance, contemporary fiction, romance, love in other words, the gunkle. I haven't read it, I'm not sure. I think it's like probably contemporary that I'm gonna think about. Then we have our last one, which is, of course, our romance shelf for sure. <laughs> Got this from TJ Maxx. Love it. And then we have, I put our darker books down here. But let's get into the next part of this video. Okay, we are going to get into our packages. This one we will do last. I think this is my <laughs> book cart. And my other book cart is really empty. There's no books on there, so... We'll see what I'll end up doing with that. But let's get into this one. All of this. Oh, wait. Some of this is not old stuff. Some of this is my current stuff, too. Um, oh, these are old. I bought these like a year or two ago when everybody like first found out 
about Timu. So I did like one Timu purchase because I was scared they were gonna steal my bank information. Yeah. Oh, Kindle stickers. These were, came from my mom during the Kindle sale. I think for if I will redo my I redo my Kindle. The first one says unhealth unhealthily attached to my Kindle. She knows her daughter. She knows her daughter. Then we have my wand. Oh, I have literally no space for my wand. This is, whose wand is this? I think, I feel like I did um, Dumbledore. Let me see. Yes, this looks like Sir Dumbledoreus's wand. But yeah, right now I have nowhere to even put that. Maybe. Well, I, I like having it in the box. I don't know. I will find somewhere to put. <gasps> excuse me. To put his one. Oh no, my cart isn't here. So what is that? If the cart is here, this is more stuff. It's my cart. Oh, is it books in here? Well, I thought my cart was in here. I thought this was too small to be a cart. But I was like, obviously this is where my cart is. Let's look. I'm so excited. I hope it's books. If it's books, it makes feelings. If it's books and I just redid my bookshelves, I'll be a tad upset. But if it's books, it's books. Yay. <gasps> it's books! Oh! I think my mom had got me these from target where they're like buy to get the third free oh my goodness if surprise book haul yes i think okay anyways if we were villains finlay Don donovan is killing it this book is very compact but yes tuesdays with maury i had to buy this book in undergrad did not appreciate it for what it was and I have no clue where it is now, so I repurchased it because I've heard great things. Oops. The Davenports, which is, like I said before, like the Black Bridgertons. Yes. Oops, last one. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Ooh. I forgot what this is about and I forgot what made me want it. But yes, we'll probably get into that another time. Yes love that for me and then we have our book cart but i think my memory card is about to be full so i'm gonna stop it right here and then we're gonna jump right back in my bad y'all before we leave the actual stuff i got distracted by finding books but i want to start I guess, annotating my books we start tagging them all that stuff with the pretty tags and the little sticky note things yes so i bought a book a highlighter set from Amazon during the Prime Day sale. These are this is like a little pouch to keep like my pens for annotating and my highlighters in there. My tabs for annotating. This is a set of 3200 tabs. Anyways, um a cutesy tote bag. Let me see. I might take this to my book club meeting tomorrow because we'll go to book club tomorrow as well too but look how cute she is and then last another pouch yes so be right back anyways now that we have some books for our tbr cards <laughs> anyways now that we have books for the tbr card let's put her together okay this is why i bought a freaking um box opener because this is for words i miss my box opener she's somewhere in one of these boxes and i hope i have a few boxes left that need to actually open up but like i said earlier there's a lot of box that i'm not opening so i hope she is not in there if i don't find her soon i'm just gonna have to order another one from amazon it is what it is. I, I need that too bad. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Oh. oh my gosh. She's pink, of 
course, I hear some things jingling back there. But yes, we have a pink three tier cart. A black one that I have, I believe it's from Ikea, was not that hard. So I'm gonna probably do this off camera, honestly, because it's gonna take too long. But if I start struggling, I will hop back on here to let y'all know that I'm struggling with all of this. We are reaching the end. I've pretty much put everything together and now I'm just putting the wheels onto here. It is definitely, I think I only paid like $30 and to me, that 30 was a lot. I barely wanted to pay the 30, but all the other ones were like 50 or if they were 40, then I paid to, I'm bad with estimation. Whatever it was, this one was significantly kind of cheaper, but it had good reviews. So I knew it was still good quality, but I'm thinking it was so cheap because it's smaller. I'll, I'll compare like size wise my two carts, but my Ikea one is, um, is this twisting it? My Ikea one is definitely bigger than this one, but that's okay but king one is black and i had thought about originally just spray painting it pink but then i was like what if it comes out flashy or it's not smooth or it starts peeling it's like no we're just gonna find me a pink one from amazon so here we are <laughs> stretch they're almost it's pretty close it's very a little bit taller but these the little side panels definitely come up higher on the ikea one than this one from amazon but this is what we have i'm gonna go ahead and start filling it up i will catch up i'm getting oily yeah we are wrapping up today at 5 10 it's literally 5 10 we started at one o'clock there was a gap though i recorded for instagram made an instagram reel all that good stuff so yeah this is where we're stopping for today tomorrow we'll probably get more into like you know our book club meeting and that's gonna be it for this video so we've filled our bookshelves went through our book haul put up our new pink cart and tomorrow is book club so yeah bye for today see you tomorrow Happy Sunday! I forgot to pick up my camera earlier, but we are now going to our book club meeting and that's gonna be it for today. We're walking there right now from a coffee shop. Let's see, is it this way, do you think? for book club the staff were kind of on the rude side but the food was pretty good um hopefully i got a video of the potatoes i thought it was cheese on top and i tried to avoid dairy as much as i can but it was actually in aioli a garlic aioli sauce and i discovered aioli sauce like last year if you've never had it go to a restaurant that has aioli something you will love aioli sauce it is so good but that was good the meatballs were Okay, so really it was just the um, the aioli. The aioli and the potatoes, that was really good. Um, we picked our book for next month called Parallel, but it was very funny that our book for this month was um, The Secret History. 
I would say out of like 20 of us, maybe five or six people, including myself, not to toot my own horn, but including myself, um, actually finished the book because it really was a tough book to get into. The words weren't like crazy or too big of verbiage going on or anything like that, but the plot was just so much fluff and unnecessary descriptions that made it kind of a harder book to really want to sink your teeth into. But the book for next month is going to be um, called Parallel. And so if you saw in the video, the way we did it is everyone put in, there was no theme. Last month's book, the theme was um, not books that have the number seven in them because that was the month of the girl who started the book club that was her birthday month so we read seven the seven husbands the seven husbands of evelyn hugo and another option was one uh, the seven year slip which i do actually want to read so those were two of the options yeah so for this month or september there's not going to be a genre or anything like that so yeah i'm excited to see how the book goes i've never heard of this book personally so i think when it was read out everybody was like uh what is this because we've never heard of it i looked it up on goodreads it had four stars i was like okay less skeptical and i know i need to get out of the habit of only trusting goodreads to determine if a book is good because there are some books that i've given five stars there was one that i read recently where i gave it five stars but on goodreads it had a three point something so anyways but the way we did it was we all picked the book that we wanted to read i had recommended red rising which i have on my bookshelf have not read it yet obviously um so we all wrote down a book that we wanted to read and similar to how they do on those videos where they're going on a trip and then they pull out okay so we're not going to the place we're not going to is hawaii so we pulled each one okay the book we're not going to read is so when my book got pulled i said dang a little sad but yeah I'm excited to read that one I have no clue what I'm gonna read next month I need to freshen my palette with good books that get me back excited into reading August was so hectic and busy that I literally only read two books that might be the lowest book count that I've had this entire year I think in July I read six books so from six to two it's a big difference but um, I know the gunk was one that I want to read. I've heard great things about the gunk, a little soft, easy. Um, and when I say soft and easy, I just mean like it's not too much. Like, you know, fantasy has a lot going on, a lot of world building, a lot of different characters, things like that. If there's maybe three main characters going on, three, four main characters, um, not a lot of depth needed to understand what's going on, that's a soft, easy read. But it's not boring if it gets boring i bet now i'm not entertaining it like a funny story everyone loves funny story i was bored but yeah that is all for this video stay tuned for next time bye <laughs>